Hey, what's up guys? Sam Man back and today we're going to be taking a look at an older figure. We're going to be taking a look at the Mattel Movie Masters the Joker. This is obviously from the Dark Knight. So this is the Movie Masters line. I reviewed this a long time ago and I ended up trading it off. Finally got it back in my collection. I got it for such a cheap price. And at uh, one point this guy was so hard to find. He was going up upwards to like $50. But that's not the case anymore. You can probably get this guy for like 15 to 20 bucks in package. Um, so you have the really nice packaging right here. Or I should say logo right there, the Dark Knight. And you can see the logo, it's kind of like a crashed little, you know, it's kind of like popped out and then you can see this is like kind of like dented in. Uh, we have the Joker right here, it comes with an evidence and you have the Joker card, which is awesome. You have Batman right here from the Dark Knight. I always liked the packaging on these movie masters, I thought they were great. Again, this is, this is made by Mattel. So right here on the back, you have the other three figures, there's a Chase figure. Uh, there's a Gotham Thug, and there's Batman right there. There's a little bit of a read-up here. If you want to read that, feel free to pause, and you can do that. There's an image of the Joker right there. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, and uh, we're going to do some comparisons and just see how cool this figure is still. Uh, accessories that he comes with or just some of the stuff that he comes with so you get this evidence bag right here and there's nothing really in it I guess if you wanted to you can put the card in here because if you guys remember at the end of Batman Begins Commissioner Gordon gives a you know a, like a bag like this to Batman you know tells him tells him there's a new you know villain in Gotham but uh, you got the Gotham PD right here and this is sealed by in the date and there's a warning on here so you can actually open this baggie up so that's really cool that you get this and then you get the Joker card which I love I like this a lot it's similar to what they used in the, um, the, the Batman Begins movie and you also get his little knife which he uses in the movie right here so it's kind of a soft material but you get that right there as well is the joker i mean back in when you know when this came out this was obviously a really cool figure and we've had some better ones since then but i mean it's still you know is a decent looking figure it looks like you got some paint smudge right there on the lip see that that's a little off but the messiness on the makeup looks pretty good, unless that's not what it's supposed to look like. It's just a factory defect. Um, the hair looks great. You can see the uh, green, with looks like a little bit of kind of like yellow in it. They gave him the, the bad posture to where his shoulders are kind of up and his neck's kind of forward. But the head sculpt looks pretty good. He's got the shading around the eyes. The makeup, you can see a little, you can see some of the skin through the makeup. So that's really cool. Um, but not a bad head sculpt, not a bad head sculpt. The uh, body itself here is a soft rubber material for his coat. Now there is another version of him where it comes with the bazooka and it's the coatless version so you got the vest and everything underneath. The shoulder arms are actually sculpted on so if you wanted to take this off um, you're going to have the sleeves on this here. But I mean the coat's pretty nice. It doesn't look that bad. It's got some kind of like a different color right here if you can see that. See how it's like a darker color? But it has them on both sides here. I think it's like that in the movie. I don't remember. Uh, but again it's a softer material and you can see the different color that he has inside of the coat. He's got a green vest, you can see the tie, you can see the collar, and then he's got his chain right here, it's just a soft rubber material, and he's got the pinstripe uh, purple pants, well, that's pretty cool, and then you got his shoes right there, nice little dress shoes, and then he's got peg holes right in the middle of the feet, and then you got some gloves, this one has like an open hand, and uh, that's pretty much it, let's see how well he can hold on to the knife accessory, pop that sucker right in there, no, oh, holds on pretty good, he had the uh, the little um, rubber band kind of wires on there holding it together. I was didn't want to take it off, but he holds it on pretty good. Now, in the way of his articulation, the head can rotate. Kind of goes up and down, not too bad. The arms go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the uh, elbow. The hand can rotate, doesn't have a hinge. Um, as far as the waist goes, it looks like he doesn't have any waist rotation or an ab crunch, but the legs do go in and out forward and back, got a bend at the knee, mid leg rotation, the foot can slightly rotate and it slightly goes up and down. So he's a decent uh, articulated figure. So here's the big comparison. We have the brand new, well it's not brand new, I think it's been out for a year maybe. We have the NECA Dark Knight figures, the seven inch scale, and then we have the Mattel uh, movie masters on the right which is what we're looking at today so you can see obviously which one is the better one and I mean it is Mattel Mattel doesn't really do like crazy detailed figures where they look just like the actors but there's a little bit of comparisons right there if you know you don't have either the jokers and you want to get one of these there's a little bit of a comparison here's a comparison to the NECA 7 inch Batman Begins figure 
And there you have it guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the Mattel, the Dark Knight Movie Masters, the Joker figure, based off of the movie The Dark Knight by Christopher Nolan. Um, the Joker was played by Heath Ledger, I'm sure all of you guys know that. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen reviews on this or own this figure, but yeah, I know I just picked it up not too long ago and I wanted to do a review on it so I can open them up and put them in my collection. So you guys let me know about the figure. Do you have them? Do you still like the figure? If you want to see more of the uh, Movie Masters reviews or you want me to re-review some, let me know in the comments below, guys. I think he should have come with a gun at least since the uh, other version came with a bazooka. But yeah, this guy definitely should have came with like a gun. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this figure. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. Peace.